All right, so the AI formula generator is a really great feature and it is helpful for a few different use cases. Uh, those use cases are creating conditional formulas, formatting data, and then also cleaning data. So for the first use case, which is conditional formatting, let's say uh, right here we have a list of companies. We've merged the company, we've put out the size, found a date, uh, locality, and then let's say we then want to find people. But we only want to run this column if the founded date is after 2014 and the company size is, let's say, greater than 50. So if you go into settings for the column and click on run settings, you'll see this little coffee AI button here. And this pops up the formula generator. So I actually already have the formula in here, but I'm going to show you again from scratch. All we need to do is say only run this column if and then when you click forward slash, you can select the different column. So we're going to say if founded date is equal to or after 2014. And, and I'm just going to put it all caps to make it more clear to you. Uh, and um, the company size is greater than 50. So we'll do generate formula. And you'll see on the right hand side, we now have a preview where we can check this. So found a date 2014, which is our first condition and company size is greater than 50, which means the column will run. Yes. In this case, found a date is less than 2014, but the company size is greater than 50. So it will not run and you'll see, it will give you a preview of what will work and what does not. Once you're happy with it, just say output is correct, say formula, and you'll see, this is the formula that was generated. So now when we save changes and we try to run this again for all of the different rows, any row that did not meet that condition will not be run. So the next thing, let's say we wanted to clean up the locality of the company. So instead of having to reference, you know, the city and the state in the email, sometimes even the city and country, uh, let's say we just wanted to pull out the city. So we can create a new column and let's make this a formula column. Again, click on this little button right here and we'll just say, pull out just the city from and then we'll select locality, click generate formula. And what it's going to do is separate, there we go, Los Angeles from Los Angeles, California, San Francisco from San Francisco, California, and so on. Output is correct, say formula, and we'll see everything is now mapped. And the last way I'd say it can be really helpful actually is for filtering. So you now let's say we wanted to filter based off of company size and founder date. One option is to just go here to the filters where we can go to found a date. We could say it is you know, greater than 2014 and uh, the company size is greater than, oops, company size. And actually this is a great example. In this case, company size, you'll see based off this logo, it is currently in text. So uh, what we can do is we can change this to a number now that's a number we can then filter with what we wanted to, which is company size greater than, oops, one second. There we go. Just had to do a quick refresh, uh, but we can go to company size and we can say greater than 50 and found a date is greater than 2014. So we can filter here by adding multiple different conditions uh, and you'll see none of them meet those conditions. The other thing we can do is let's go back. Um, we can create a new formula column and let's actually make this a checkbox, right? And when we open this up, we're going to say, check this box. If and we'll say company size is greater than 20 and found a date is greater than or equal to 2014. Generate the formula. There we go. Um, output is correct. Save formula. And a quick refresh. We'll see now we have a column with, again, actually, we need to switch this to a checkbox. Checkbox. And if those conditions are met, the checkbox will be checked. And what this can allow us to then do is quickly just filter down uh, based off of new column. Let me rename this really quickly. 
say this is called checkbox. Uh, first, actually, we can sort it based off of checkbox. So if we look for checkbox here, let's sort from checked to unchecked. Now we only have to sort off of one column. And then additionally, we can filter this right to checkbox as well. And we can say checkbox is checked. And there we go. That, uh, that is kind of a high level overview of how you can use the AI formula generator. There are a ton more use cases. Uh, so definitely recommend playing around with the feature.